Well, hello again. Uh, Jim Wade's here, and uh, <laughs> I'm uh, going to give a bit of a demonstration of a device called an instructograph. I actually learned Morris on an instructograph, and uh, it uh, it was uh, a pretty useful tool in its day. Um, at yeah, many years ago, before computers, if you wanted to learn Morris on your own. Uh, you had really two options, one of which was, of course, uh, uh, LP records, and the other one was devices such as this instructor graph. Uh, the problem with LP records was the fact that the amount of variety was very limited, and as a result, the student very quickly memorized the content. <laughs> and so they really didn't challenge your copying ability. The instructor graph, on the other hand, came with 10 paper tapes that were perforated uh, with Morse, either uh, American Morse code or uh, international code. So here you can see kind of, a, an, uh, oh, say an American Morse code tape, okay, or a CW tape, and, and I actually have both here, but I'll show you the American Morse tape, uh, same general concept between the two. It's uh, essentially two sides perforated, and uh, you basically just reverse the spool and uh, the machine uh, draws it through a, 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 a spring contact and produces the, uh, the Morse through a sounder or uh, via an oscillator. Uh, this particular uh, unit here uh, belonged to Cecil Langdock, uh, or as his friends, uh, as we called him, Doc. Uh, Doc was a uh, telegrapher for the New York Central Railroad, handled Western Union, but perhaps he was best known in the telegraph fraternity as the operator, the official telegraph operator for Notre Dame football. Uh, Doc transmitted the play-by-play -play broadcast via Morris to broadcast stations that uh, recreated the games uh, uh, locally. And so that was uh, maybe his uh, biggest claim to fame. A uh, super guy, and uh, this was his particular unit that he gave me. Uh, he learned Morris on it. And uh, so I thought I would just take a moment or, sh or two to show uh, uh, radio amateurs and uh, telegraph historians and others uh, how this device worked. It's really pretty, uh, it's a pretty simple device. Uh, it's uh, really a phonograph motor. In this case, it's a hand crank phonograph motor. Uh, of course, a, a battery source. In this case, it's a number six dry cell. And, of course, uh, there's a spool with the perforated tape. So when one starts the device, uh, and he can vary the speed here with the regulator for the phonograph motor, it draws the paper tape through the spring contact. And then, of course, the spring contact is in series with battery and a learner set. So this is kind of a typical little learner set. Uh, this one's manufactured by the Signal Electric Company of Menominee, uh, Michigan. And uh, they were very commonly used with this particular type of, of instructor graph. Uh, uh, later models, of course, used uh, AC, uh, an AC phonograph motor. And uh, they also uh, often had internal CW oscillators as well. Uh, but this one's kind of neat. It's in good condition. And uh, it uh, has all, the, uh, all 10 of the American Morris tapes to go with it. And so what I'm going to do uh, is uh, just start the uh, unit up. And I'm going to send a bit of the uh, content here on the tape so uh, one can see how it operates. Uh, I do want to stress that the uh, number six dry cell that's in here uh, is probably 10 years old. So uh, the sounder might be a little bit sluggish. But uh, nonetheless, I think you'll get the idea here. So a little bit there about New York City becoming the most important uh, uh, city 
uh, on the continent. Uh, so uh, it's uh, it's pretty typical American Morse code, and uh, those of you that can copy it, I'm sure uh, I could hear the sounder well enough to understand it. Uh, but again, just a, a simple uh, old-fashioned hand crank, almost like a Victrola motor, a uh, phonograph motor, uh, simple spring contact, and, and the like. So uh, it kind of gives you an idea of how it works, and uh, you know, just uh, a little bit of a trip down uh, memory lane here. I think we need to crank this guy up a little bit here, huh? And of course, if one wanted to practice sending, uh, DC is available through the unit. And, and you can, of course, send uh, with the straight key, uh, practice your sending and so forth. Or on the slower tapes, just repeat the character formation to learn how uh, uh, maybe imitate uh, machine sending. So with that, uh, an introduction to the instructor graph and a little trip down memory lane. And I will say 73 to all. Again, 73 to all, and thank you.